Pastor Brennan coming to you live from Salem Springs, Arkansas with another live devotional. And it's good to be here tonight. And uh, tonight's live devotional is going to, is entitled, A Faulty Sword Equals Defeat. And <clears throat> we're going to be talking about uh, the sword of the Spirit. And we're going to talk about it in the perspective of if your sword is faulty, in other words, if you have another translation, okay? Because listen, um, the reason why I say this is because your King James Bible, this Bible right here, your King James Bible is the sword of the Spirit. And <clears throat> there is going to be only one sword that's, that's going to work properly. And if you have a faulty sword, you're going to have defeat. And what I mean by that is if you try to use a faulty sword against the devil, you will lose. Okay? You will lose. So, I want you guys, if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. And I want us to take a look. And starting in verse 11, it says, Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now let me stop right there for a second. God wants us to put the full armor on. Amen. We are to put the full armor, the full gospel armor on. Okay. What does it say? So that we might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Let me tell you something. If there is a if there is a part, if there is a part of your armor that is faulty and exposes, the devil is gonna take a shot in the area that's exposed, and you will lose. Okay? You will lose. We're not to have, I want, brethren, I want to, I want to encourage you, do not, make sure, let us, let us all make sure that our armor is not faulty. Let's make sure that we have the full armor of God that has, that, that, that there may not be, you know, let's have the full armor of God, the full armor that has no chinks in it. Amen. We don't want a chink in the chain. Now. Um, in verse 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand there, therefore, having your loins girt, about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Amen. That's what we're gonna, that's that's what this devotion is going to be about. Is taking on and taking the sword of the spirit. And here's the thing: the word of God is the sword of the spirit. Amen. And um, we are to use it to combat the wiles of the devil and the temptations the devil may throw at us. We're to use that sword on a daily basis. And we should never put it, and we should never ever have, we should never put it down. Amen. All of us should always take up the sword because the devil is going to attack on a daily basis. Okay. However, we know, okay, so we know that the word of God is pure and inspired and perfect. Amen. This is the pure word. That's perfect and without error. And your King James Bible is the only one that God had ordained 
and had put together for you to use to fight against the devil. You know why? Because the devil hates this Bible right here. He hates it. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell you something. The devil has come up. The devil is really not a great marksman. Okay? The devil is really not a great marksman. Because the other translations, the, the New Age translations, are a faulty sword. It's a counterfeit sword. And it's a faulty sword. Okay? The devil cannot make as good of a sword as how God can make it. Okay? Satan makes faulty weapons. That's what he makes. And I'm going to tell you something. If you try, if, if you think that you can go, if you think you can take an NIV and stand up against the devil and try to fight him off with an NIV or an ESV or a BLT, that was a joke. Uh, that was a bacon lettuce, uh, bacon lettuce and tomato. That's that's that was a joke. But um, anyways, but if you if you have all these New Age Bibles and and you try to go up against the devil using those Bibles, you will lose. Okay, I guarantee you, if you use a New Age translation to try to fight off the devil, you will lose. You will not win. Okay, you will lose. And by the way, my Bible shows us that if you try to use another translation, you'll lose. Okay, and it's happened. It's happened to Eve. Okay, so with that said, I want you guys to turn with me to to, uh, to Genesis. Okay, Genesis chapter 3. Now, <clears throat> I want us to kind of back up for a second because I want us to take a look at what God said first, okay? Now, when God created Adam, okay, he told Adam that he that um, he gave Adam a commandment as per the garden, okay? So if we go to, uh, to Genesis chapter 2, verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying of every tree of the garden, thou, must, thou mayest, eat, mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Okay? That was the commandment that God gave to Adam in the garden. He gave one commandment, and it was don't eat of the tree of the don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Okay? Don't eat of it. Now, here's where here's where the faulty sword comes into play. Okay? Let's go to Genesis chapter three. Okay, we're going to start in verse one because I want us to get some. I want us to get some context here. It says, "Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made, and he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden." And the woman said, "Okay, now I want you guys to pay very close attention to what the woman said. Okay, pay very close attention. Okay." The woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the tr of the fruit, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Okay. Now, Eve was using another translation. Okay, she added to what God had said. Okay, let's go back and reread the commandment, and let's and then I want you to compare with what the woman said. Okay, so Genesis chapter two, 
Verses 16, And the Lord God commanded uh, commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Okay? Now, again, here's what the woman said to the serpent. She said, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Listen. When you read with what God commanded, okay, God never said anything about touching it. He, said, he just said, God just said, don't eat of it. He didn't say anything about touching it. He didn't say, if you touch it, you'll die. No, he said, if you eat of it, in the day that you eat thereof, you shall die. But the woman said, she, she added, if, if we, that she, see, the woman said to the serpent, you, you shall not eat of it or touch of it. You see, you see, you see, the, you, you see the, 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 the difference there. There's a difference between with what God said and what the woman said. And the woman was basically doing what the equivalent is, is of using another translation. She was using a faulty sword to try to fight the devil. Okay? Do you know what the, you know what the result of her using a faulty sword was? Eve used a faulty sword, and the result of it was this. Okay? And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, little g, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to... And a tree... A pleasant to the eyes, and the tree to, to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. Okay? So we see that because of disobedience, because of because of because of disobedience and rebelliousness and and deception sin had entered in and it's because Eve tried to use a faulty sword to fight the devil and she lost amen she took god's words twisted kind of kind of twisted around a little bit and added something to what god said when you're not supposed to do, but Eve did, and because Eve added to what God said, she lost. Amen? So, brethren, I want to ask you this question. Will you use the King James Bible and use what God said to fight the devil? Or will you use a ver a, a perverse Bible, a New Age Bible, something that has been twisted, and man has added or taken away from God's God's words to fight the or okay? So you have two choices: are you are you going to, are you going to use the pure word of God to fight the devil, or are you going to use a perverse Bible, in which has things added or taken away from it? To try to fight the devil. Because I'm going to tell you something. If you try to fight the devil. With using a new age Bible. You will lose. The only way to, to fight and to stand. And to, and to resist the devil. Is to use. The only word. The only, the only pure word of God. And I'm going to tell you something. This Bible. This Bible is right and everything it says. Amen. I choose to put my faith and trust in what God said and everything in between and everything in this book. So, 
Which will you choose? Will you choose the pure word of God to fight, or will you choose a faulty sword to fight? The choice is yours. But just so you know, if you use a faulty sword, you will lose. But if you use the one and only pure sword, you will win. Because if there's something the devil don't like, the devil don't like the word of God, and he will and he will flee if you resist the devil. Amen. Listen, God bless you guys. I love you. I hope that this is. I hope this. I hope this uh, kind of. You know, I hope this was a blessing to you, and I hope you got something from this. Um, I want you guys to stay tuned tomorrow for Pastor Brandon, uh, no, for our Fishers of Men broadcast. We're going to be continuing on with our with our faith, with our sermon series, uh, our faith series, talking about faith. We're going to go through the whole Bible, and we're going to kind of, we're just going to go through uh, Hebrews 11, and you know, and just kind of go through, and we're going to see great men and women of faith. Amen. So we're going to pick up on that tomorrow. So with that, this is Pastor Brandon. I'm signing off for the evening. God bless you. I love you. And if God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you guys. Love you. Bye.